lined. I'm going to make some simple pattern, some uh, two panels to cover this window. Um, it's just going to be two panels. It's going to be simple because it's in the bathroom. And I'm going to use the rods that go inside. I don't know if you can see my window. It doesn't have a frame. It's not framed. It's just So I'm going to use the spring kind that goes on the inside. I don't want to use the... Um, the rods that go above, you know, that stick out because it's this bathroom, it's just a small bathroom and I don't want it to be overwhelming. For me, this is my opinion. I don't want my curtains to be overwhelming um, because it goes out to three inches, the frame, like you can see here, the indentation. And so I'd have to have, you know, put the, the bracket on, the, you know, out here and way above and Another reason is because my door, if I put the, I don't know if you can see, if I put the um, bracket up there above and then three inches out, it's going to be too close to this door. I don't want to be bumping into anything. You know, I know the bracket wouldn't be down here, but the curtains would be way out there and probably shut into the door. You're going to get stuck in, somehow blow in there and get... I don't want to have that problem. So I'm just going to put them inside and I'm going to line them. I will, the main reason is that I just want to show you how I line the curtains with the um, blackout fabric because it's getting close to it. Today's the first day of summer and so it's going to get really hot pretty soon and I want to put the blackout curtains so it doesn't get so hot. Because I know last year uh, the sun really came in and this is the south side of the house. You know, so the sun doesn't come in too much right now, but it will in the next few weeks. It's going to start coming in. So anyway, I just want to show you the curtains. I'm going to go in there and show you. I've already done one panel. I've lined it with the fabric. It's, um, I'll put the link or I'll show you. I'll, I'll just put it, uh, this type of fabric I put in there down below, uh, when I find it because I can't find anything that shows what it is. I'll have to look up what I bought. So um, I'll go in there and show it to you. I'll go into my sewing room and show you um, what I've done. And then I'll lay it out and I'll show you how I did the sides, uh, hemmed up the sides and the bottom and the top. Um, I've used the iron already to measure and then I'll lay my fabric in there and I'll sew it up for you. So let's go in there. So, here is the first panel that I've made. I've lined it. This uh, liner has, I don't know if you can see it, but it has like a, like a beige color in the back. And on the other side, it's white. You can choose either way. With this fabric, you can choose either side that you want to use. I chose white because I didn't know if it was going to show through or not. And I would like for my white to show up through this here. The back to me doesn't make any difference because my blinds are going to be closed most of the time. And it doesn't matter to me. But um, this is the one panel I've made. It's going to, I did like one and a half to two, almost two times the fabric um, of the window. You can make it as, you know, fluffy as you want or not. You know, however much you want here if you want it to you know if you just want a straight one just do that you know just this probably one and a half 45 this is about 40 40 my window is 46 and a half inches so oh I probably used 70 inches wide fabric so anyway here we go I made the um I'll show you what I've made for the hem and the top and the sides, how I did that. So let's go do that. Okay, so here I've made my other panel. I've already made uh, the panel the same. I've cut it all the same. and But I have not put the liner 
and you can make it as wide as you want. You can do whatever kind of hem you want. If you like the two and a half inch hem or whatever kind of hem you like, it's custom. So you can do whatever you want. It's your curtains. So what I did was I just used a one inch hem at the bottom, but I measured two inches extra for it. I ironed two inches and then I folded it under. So it just makes one inch. So that's my hem. And I did the same for the sides. It's just how I like it. And then um, the top, since I wanted to, um, since I'm not gonna have any room at the top for any extra, I just made, I folded this down one and a half inches. And then I brought it in a half inch. So I folded it over so that it makes a one inch here for my um, for my rod. The rod is not very thick, you know, it's just a small, I think it's a three-quarter inch or half inch rod. But it'll make it give it enough give when for the liner. When I put the liner, it's gonna be a little bit thicker, so it'll be able to fold in a little bit and kind of squish on the rod. So here it goes. Here's the and I don't know if you can see but this is beige. The rod is beige. I mean the liner is beige on one side and it's white on the other. I'm gonna put the white on the inside. And I've measured them to where when you, when you lay it on, it's gonna be exactly the width and the length of the curtains when they're folded. You know, you don't cut them as long as the length before you fold them because it's gonna be, you really don't need to and it's gonna be very bulky. So that's what I'm doing. I'm cut them the same. They're the same uh, this way and then they're the same that way, the, the length. So this is my sides here and then this is my length going this way. My curtains are gonna go up. This is gonna be my top. You can ch I could choose it the little circles to go up or down, but I choose them to go up. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna line them here. And they're gonna lay in there just right. So for the curtains, you're gonna leave, you have to have this opening here for the rods. So you're gonna sew the sides first and then fold over for the rods and the hem. So these are the sides. I left this open already. I gave enough room so I can lay. This inside the hem. So let me take one out. Okay, so I'm trying to work a little bit fast. So you don't have to. Okay, so there's the inside where I've ironed the line. You can see the line. Well, you can't see it, but just imagine you can see the line because when you when you iron it and you fold it over, you'll see it. I'm sewing along the edge. It's probably a quarter of an inch. Keep it together so it doesn't move. One inch. Okay. Get the pin out. I'm going to sew all the way to the end. Okay. Pull that off. Okay. 
think I've got one. One side. Once I've done, it's in there. Coming to the end. And then I'll do the back and forth. And voila. I still have bobbin threads left over. I can't believe it. Okay. So. It's that simple. My first time doing it, but I just thought I'd show you because it was... I thought it was going to be so hard. But here it is. And so. Here's my other one. I'll see if I can turn you where you can see me. And I'm going to take... I'll go ahead and put it on this end. Take that off there. Where's the top? This is the top here. And it doesn't, I'm surprised, it didn't come out real bulky, but, um, I thought it was going to come out really bulky because I had that, you know, come all the way up here, but it didn't come, it didn't, it's just because I didn't, um, I only did it up to the crease. I didn't make it all the way around or it probably, you know, it wouldn't have, um, it would have worked, I'm sure, but it would have made it too, kind of tight on the rod. And then you wouldn't be able to, to um, pull it in so much, I think. I'm pretty sure. There we go. My curtains. I'll go hang them up. And let's go see how that looks. Okay, so... I'm going to go ahead and hang these up. And I need to let it out a little bit. No. Let the curtains out a little bit. You have to, these you have to unwind a little bit. I don't know if you've ever used them. There we go. Bring them up a little bit. Bring them up a little bit here. The only bad thing about when you make wide curt when you have wide curtains and you need something in the middle here. So what I might do is I might just tie some. Uh, you can't nail anything in, so I'll probably just get. I don't, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'll figure something out. But I got my curtains made, and they're about right. They come here. They'll come up a little bit more off the rug once I put something here in the middle to hold it up. I might have to put a nail up here with a little hook to hold it up. But voila, they're great. I'm happy with them. Very nice, simple curtains that are gonna keep the heat out. How do you like that? Let me turn on this other light. There you go. And there you go. And it's going to keep the sun out and the heat and even in the cold and there we go thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and to share and let's see what happens on my next video bye and i need to let it out a little bit no let the curtains out a little bit. You have to, these you have to unwind a little bit. I don't know if you've ever used them. There we go. Bring them up a little bit. Bring them up a little bit here. The only bad thing about when you make wide curt, when you have wide curtains, then you need something in the middle here. So what I might do is I might just tie some, 
um, you can't nail anything in, so I'll probably just get, I don't, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'll figure something out, but I got my curtains made, and they're about right. They come here. They'll come up a little bit more off the rod once I put something here in the middle to hold it up. I might have to put a nail up here with a little hook to hold it up, but voila, they're great. I'm happy with them. Very nice, simple curtains that are gonna keep the heat out. How do you like that? Let me turn on this other light. There we go. And there you go. And it's gonna keep the sun out and the heat, and even in the cold. And there we go. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and to share and let's see what happens on my next video. Bye.